It's been an issue for years, overcrowding at Metro Jail, and when you have so many people in such close quarters, COVID transmission also becomes a problem. Warden Trey Oliver says they've seen a significant rise in COVID cases in the jail, and they've begun releasing inmates who are considered nonviolent. WKRG News 5's Gabby Easterwood joins us live from Metro Jail. And Gabby, do we know what's causing this outbreak? Well, Dana, we spoke to Sheriff Sam Cochran today, and they say they believe the outbreak is coming from those who were recently arrested and having already been um, around COVID, bringing COVID into the jail and infecting other inmates. Now, rapid tests are given to new inmates, but vaccination numbers are low within those who are being arrested as well. Now, to help combat this in the jail, they have implemented their, quote, hurricane release protocol, which allows inmates facing only city nonviolent charges to sign their own bond or to be released on recognizance. Now this protocol has been around for years and they use it during tropical storm season as well, but there are some exceptions. Now this does not cover domestic violence cases, DUIs or people who are in jail because they have failed to appear in court. Now normal, normal COVID protocols like sanitation and employee mask wearing is happening behind the metro walls and they're hoping this release program will be the key factor to reduce their number of cases have a large number of inmates in the jail uh, and we're trying to keep them safe. We're also trying to keep our employees safe and with this new variant, the Delta variant, we've realized that um, the COVID is, is, is spreading rapidly and much easier than it did in the past. Now, there hasn't been a single inmate die from COVID during the entire pandemic, and they currently do not have any hospitalizations either. Now, they're hoping that this release program will only have to happen and last a few weeks until they can get a little bit more room here in the jail to make room so that they can have less COVID cases and less transmission. Reporting live at Mobile Metro, Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.